When discussing the topic of climate change, road-going vehicles are the first to blame. Their toxicity creates the smog that plagues major cities around the world. However, with more stringent emission standards being placed on new cars, the threat is starting to be managed. It turns out there is a transportation industry that is yet to be regulated, and that is sea transport. A study done by the University of Delaware stated that the 15 largest cargo ships produced more pollution than all of the world's cars. This is staggering, considering the amount of cars in the world surpasses 1 billion. This localized source of pollution follows a set trade route and wreaks havoc on the ozone layer. The issue is that since these ships are vital to the economy, there is no way to remove them as a pollution threat. Rather, mechanical engineers need to devise ways to improve these ships. There are three main changes that can be made. First is to increase carrying capacity of the ships. Second is to harness waste energy. The final change is to use an alternative energy source. By achieving these goals, sea transport can become a sustainable method of transporting goods. First we're going to start with increasing cargo capacity. Thankfully sea vessels are one area where bigger does mean better. This is due to the ability to marginally increase power while exponentially expanding cargo capacity. Take this example between two equivalent cargo competitors. On the left is a Boeing 747, and on the right is the cargo ship Emma Maersk. The cargo ship uses one magnitude of fuel more to travel the same distance as the jet, but carries four magnitudes more cargo. This means that the cargo ship can carry 400 times more weight using the same amount of fuel as the cargo jet. By increasing the size of these ships, it is possible to haul more freight in one trip. This would decrease the amount of fuel burned and decrease the amount of runtime while still meeting the needs of the global community. The second method is to harness waste energy. This is a method that has been applied to the triple E line of Maersk cargo ships which are now the largest of their kind. They utilize a system called a heat recovery system or HRS for short. The underlying principles of its operation rely on simple thermodynamic systems. It first captures the exhaust gases which have a very high heat potential. These are used in an exhaust gas boiler to create steam. The steam is fed through a turbine effectively creating mechanical energy. From here the mechanical energy is transferred to electrical energy through means of a generator. This electrical energy then powers a ship's systems which would normally require its own diesel generator. The system is stated to capture a quarter of the fuel's energy that would normally be lost as exhaust heat. Also, by trapping exhaust gases it also reduces CO2 emissions by 9%. Utilizing the simple laws of thermodynamics, the ships are able to save fuel, save money, and reduce emissions, which are the goals of reducing our impact on the climate. The final improvement to decrease the environmental impact of cargo ships is to use an alternate fuel source. This means two things, upgrading the current fuel source, as well as considering an entirely new fuel source. The main petroleum fuel used in most cargo ships right now is bunker fuel. This is fuel that is quite literally scraped out of the bottom of a petroleum distiller. It is filled with impurities that would make higher grade fuels inadequate. The most toxic of these impurities is sulfur, which when burned creates the compound SO2 or sulfur dioxide. The expulsion of SO2 is one of the leading causes of climate change and destroys the ozone layer. This is something that is finally being regulated by naval transportation associations and legislation for the requirement of low SO2 percentages is in place. By staying away from burning bunker oil, these cargo ships can emit less harmful gases into the atmosphere. But what if these ships didn't have to emit any gases at all? This could be possible with the introduction of nuclear power. It is something that has been harnessed by military ships for the past half century, but other classifications have stayed away. Nuclear and water are obviously two words that when put together scare people, but improvements in the field have made it a safe and reliable source of power. The benefits of utilizing this source could be endless. They would create the same amount of power as the leading engines in use today, all while emitting no CO2. This could all be done while saving money as well. Commercial uranium costs much less than the normal fuel for the same energy output. Nuclear powered ships also burn fuel at a slower rate, allowing them to make multiple journeys without ever having to refuel. Of course, new infrastructure would be needed to support these nuclear cargo ships, but it could be the answer to keep global markets moving. In conclusion, by working to improve the pollution emission rates of these massive cargo ships, we can create a greener tomorrow without sacrificing the luxuries of today. By focusing on building larger ships, developing technologies to capture any and all waste, and considering the use of new fuel sources, we can achieve that goal. And if you don't know, now you know.